frontline device workers can have many different tasks. And with different tasks come different applications that they need to sign into. Let's take a transport and logistics example. A frontline device worker may need to sign into a dispatching app, an invoicing application, not to mention collaboration apps such as email and file sharing. And all these logins take time. They can disrupt employee focus and increase the risk of credentials being compromised. And this is exactly where single sign-on can help. Hi, my name is Richard, and in this video, we'll explore how to set up single sign-on with Microsoft Authenticator in Sotimobi Control. And as we get started, it's important to review some prerequisites and considerations. Firstly, there are a number of single sign-on or SSO options that can be configured in Sotimobi Control. Today, we're looking at the Microsoft SSO or Microsoft Authenticator SSO option. This allows single sign-on authentication to any app that uses the Microsoft Authentication Library or MSAL. And the Microsoft Authenticator app is used as a broker on the device. Secondly, it's available for Android Enterprise Work Managed Devices or iOS devices. Please take a look at our separate video for more information about the setup for iOS. We're going to be focused on Android Enterprise from this point onwards, so it's important to make sure that your Android devices are enrolled into Sotimobi Control as work managed. Also, given that we're using the Microsoft Authenticator app as a broker, this will be found on the Google Play Store. So it's important to make sure that your work managed Android devices are configured to use Manage Google Play. Next, the process we're looking at today applies to Soti Mobi Control version 2025.1 or higher. The Microsoft Authenticator single sign-on feature has been available since version 2024. However, there are some differences in the setup. I'll call out a number of these as we work through, but it's also important to compare to the Soti help documentation for the specific version of Soti Mobi Control that you're on. And given that we're talking about the help documentation, this is where we're going to get started to review the license requirements on the Microsoft side. I've accessed the Soti Mobi Control help docs through Soti Pulse, and I'm on version 2025.1, looking at the configuring Microsoft Authenticator SSO for Android page. Now, if we look at the Microsoft requirement for this feature, we can see that there's need to have a Microsoft Enter ID premium one or higher license. So this is the overall account license with Microsoft Enter ID or formerly Azure AD. Also, there's the need to have the conditional access option enabled. Please note, this doesn't mean that conditional access needs to be actually set up as a feature, either on Soti Mobi Control or on the Microsoft side, but it does mean that the connection needs to be available. And I'll show you where this is set a little bit later on. Then we move on to the users. We can see that each user who's gonna be logging in on the devices need to have a supported Microsoft license plan. We can see that this is listed on the Mobi Control help docs, but also there is a link to the Microsoft licensing information directly on Microsoft's docs as well. We would recommend reviewing this because this will always be the most up-to-date information along with any changes to Microsoft's Enter ID portal in terms of, let's say, a user interface update or anything on those lines. In addition, when adding a license for a user on Microsoft Enter ID, make sure to select all services. Let's take a look at that now. So for context, if I head over to the Enter ID portal, I can see my overall licensing information along with other information such as the tenant ID and primary domain. And I can also make sure my users are assigned a license. So the user I'm going to use in this example is a user called Marcus. If I click on Marcus's information, I can see the groups that Marcus is assigned to, and also the licenses that Marcus has been assigned. In terms of groups, if I select groups, I can see that he is assigned to a group called Frontline Device Users. And also on the licensing side, he has been applied a Microsoft license. This is one of the applicable licenses that we saw on the help documentation a few moments ago. And we can see that all the services are enabled. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we can get Soti Mobi Control to connect to Microsoft Enter ID to be able to query this information and allow users to sign in on the Soti Mobi Control managed Android devices. 
So there are two areas where this can be set within Soti Mobi Control. As of version 2024 of Soti Mobi Control, this connection to Microsoft Enter ID can be set from the global settings area. And then underneath services, you can select directory where there's the ability to connect to Microsoft Enter ID. As of Soti Mobi Control 2025.1, the ability to add this connection was also added to the profiles area. And this is where I'm going to set up our connection. So I'll head to profiles, I'll click add new profile. I'll select Android as we're focused on work managed Android devices and I'll add an appropriate name for this profile. When I'm there, I'll click on configurations, click the plus button and single sign on has three options which includes Microsoft Authenticator SSO. Once I go into the screen, I'm asked to provide two connections. The first one is the directory details. This is the connection to Microsoft Enter ID, so those users and those groups that we've just seen can be queried. I'll click Manage, and I'll click the plus button to start my connection. Once I've given an overall name, I then click the plus button again to give specific information that this connection will be about Microsoft Authenticator SSO. This includes the name, the primary domain of the Microsoft Enter ID tenant, the Microsoft Enter ID tenant ID, and then also the metadata endpoint address. The name, I can just add, making sure that there's a clear name that identifies this. And then the next two fields, the primary domain and the Microsoft Entra Tenant ID, we've actually already seen. That was from our Entra ID overview page. Let's grab that now. I'll head back to home. I'll head back to Entra ID, make sure I'm in the overview page. And here I have both my primary domain that I can copy. And then also my tenant ID as well. The other field that we require is the metadata endpoint address. This can be found within the app registrations area of Microsoft Enter ID. I'll go to manage and then select the app registration option with an Enter ID. Please note there's no requirement to actually perform any registration or register a new app. All you'd need to do is go to endpoints. And here we have a list of various different endpoints for connections to Entra ID. In our case, we're looking for the Federation metadata document, which is the third from the end of the list. I'll select copy. Please note that this also includes the tenant ID again. And this is our last field that we need to add to Soti Mobi Control. If I scroll down, I can see that Microsoft Single Sign-On is available within the list of default applications. This means when we save this connection, a pop-up will appear on the Soti Mobi Control console, asking for all of the relevant Entra ID users and permissions. Those permissions allow a connection to the users and groups in the Entra ID directory that we saw earlier. Microsoft Entra ID communicates with Soti Mobi Control by enabling identity federation and authentication. When a user logs in on the device, they are redirected to Entra ID for authentication. Entra ID issues OAuth 2.0 tokens or SAML tokens, which Soti Mobi Control can use to verify the user identity and the access permissions. So in our case, we'll click save. And then once we click save, we'll make sure that we have our connection selected and we will choose the Microsoft single sign-on option from that list of default applications. Once this is done, I'll click OK. The next step is to configure conditional access. Now you may be wondering what this part does, given that we've already specified our connection to the Microsoft Enter ID directory already. Well, the conditional access connection sets up Soti Mobi Control for partner compliance management within Microsoft Endpoint Manager. If I go to the Endpoint Manager portal, select Tenant Administration, Connectors and Tokens, there's an option here for partner compliance management. And this is actually used for more than one different thing. So it can be used for single sign-on, but it can be also used with conditional access. These two features can be separate or they could be layered. In our case, given that we're setting up single sign-on, if I enable this connection within the Soti Mobi Control profile, once everything is saved and we've given the correct user permissions, we should see that Soti Mobi Control is reflected in the screen that we're looking at here. So similar to previous steps, I'll select Manage and I'll click Add Credentials. Now, given that we've already supplied our tenant ID, 
We're met with a prompt to say, do we want to enter it manually or do we want to pre-populate it from our previous connection? I'll click populate and all I need to do is specify a name. I'll then click save. And now that both those connections are done, we're met with a prompt to say that we'll be redirected to Microsoft's website to sign in. We would review the prompts, consent on behalf of the organization and click accept. I'll then be met by a message giving me a full review of all of the permissions the default application is going to request. So essentially when a device user is logging in, this is allowing Soti Mobi Control to sign in and read the user's information, read all applications and all of the other settings here. Again, we review this information and once we're ready, then click accept. Once this is done, we're met with a successfully connected to Microsoft Entra ID option and we can close this window. The final step would be to click the sync button and then we can proceed with assigning the profile. Though just before we do, let me show you what's happening on the endpoint manager portal now that our conditional access connector has been set up and is now synchronized. If I select refresh, I can see that Soti Mobile Control has now been marked as the default compliance partner for Android, iOS, and macOS conditional access. And as a reminder, this doesn't necessarily mean that the conditional access feature needs to be enabled. It's the same connector for SSO, for conditional access, or if you wish to layer SSO in conditional access, this is also an option. As an aside, this is one of those areas that is slightly different if you are on a version before Soti Mobi Control 2025.1. Rather than the fully automated process that we've just seen, previously you would have had to manually select Soti Mobi Control as the compliance partner from the available list of compliance partners. We now have our single sign-on with Microsoft Authenticator profile payload ready to go. So I'll click save, save and assign, and I'll assign this to my appropriate device groups and devices. Once the profile is assigned, we're then prompted to continue the workflow by going to App Policies. Thank you for joining us for part one of the setup of single sign-on with Microsoft Authenticator in Soti Mobi Control. Join us for part two, where we'll work through the configuration of the application policies and review the device side experience. For more resources, like and subscribe to the SOTI YouTube channel. And for more information about the SOTI One platform, visit SOTI.net.